So this is five knives that make you different. They stand out, they're not gonna be the same thing everybody else is carrying. Now I am gonna add one more to this list. Uh, you know, you guys will see why, but this is a titanium frame lock. I know it's not that unique, but the shape and overall design of the Finch Buffalo Tooth is very unique. You're not gonna see everybody and their mama carrying a knife that looks like this. It almost has like a shovel faced blade shape, but it is a spear point and it's gonna work great just like a spear point. It's rather compact, but also extremely large. So, you know, it's unique in a lot of ways. It's almost shaped like a bullet. The flipping action is amazing, amazing, amazing flipping action. Uh, you can't flick off the fuller, detent's just too strong, but it does have the solid detent. You have jimping on the flipper tab so you can you know, do the trigger pull over the flipper tab. The blade steel on this is 154 cm, good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop, and you can really feel that detent click in. Um, the, the shield right here actually glows. So if I shine it with a light really quick, it will actually glow. And then you have this texturing on both sides that, that is really cool and, and it looks cool. It's a, a full bolster, basically. Let's get to the next one. Now the next one, everybody carries a shark lock or a lot of people, I'm not gonna say everybody because you're probably never gonna run into somebody in public unless if you go to a knife show or something that's carrying a shark lock, which is like the Demco 8020 or the Demco 8020.5. This is the Atlas lock, the cold steel engage. S35VN, this does come in a couple different sizes and I believe different materials as well. So there is a more affordable option of this. Um, G10 scale steel liners and then it has the super strong Atlas lock. So when I seen this at Blade Show for the first time, they said that I think it went up to 720 pounds of force that it could, it could hold withstand on the spine, which is an insane amount. Uh, technically even more than the triad lock held, uh, to at least with their testings. Now, I personally would rather hard use a triad lock over an Atlas lock, just because I'm not sure how this thing would hold up over years of abuse, you know, and I know the triad lock will hold up, but as far as just dropping force goes, but you can choke up really tight to that edge or really tight, you know, to the blade. You have a clip point blade. It's going to work pretty decent for EDC purposes. If you want to stay back nice and snug, you know, for poking reasons, you're really locked in back here. It is pretty ergonomic. The lock is very easy to use. You can just pull down and either let it hit your finger or you can just grab it back here and swing it down. So very interesting lock, very fidgety, very cool, very tough. Next is the Wii Knives Vision R, but there is the Vision FG, I believe it's called, which you can get right now. I will link it down in the description. I believe it's a pre-order right now, but if you want to get the Civivi version of this, which is an affordable budget option that's even better than this one, I'll link it down in the description. So this one is 20 CV steel. The, the Civivi version, I believe, is Nitro V. Titanium handles, the, the budget version is micarta scales on top of liners. Um, they might have other options, but that's basically what it is. Steel liners with, uh, you know, micarta, G10, something like that. Now, the lock is really strong. It's called the super lock. So basically, this bar pushes up into that groove that you see right here behind the stop pin, making this very, very, very solid. Now the new one has thumb studs instead of a, a hole deployment, which does fidget a lot better with this type of lock because this type of lock doesn't give you the most resistance for you know a detent, but the new one feels a lot more snappy. Then the lock right here actually is a little bit taller and has jimping on it, so it's very easy to grip. This is kind of, you're just, you know, kind of poking at this. 
which it works. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I think it's great. But the Civivi version is much more comfortable. And the clip, you know, while this is very unique and, and you know, the clip does work pretty well, you just got to slide this in this um, in your pocket and then turn it. Um, the new one from Civivi, the clip is on, you know, just a regular clip. So lots of upgrades with the Civivi version. Also, this back spring can't pop out with the new one. It gets stuck, so you never have to worry about doing that, which he did make for a reason that way. He made it so that you can easily clean it out if anything gets down in there, and it is pretty easy to, to, to clean out without ever taking it apart, but the new one does not do that. But I will say that this knife is very different and definitely makes you stand out among the crowd. I doubt you will ever in your life run into somebody who's carrying one of these. They are quite expensive. But like I said, the Civivi version does bring the price down. And, you know, even among other knife people, like, yes, you know, these, these have been popular, but they're still not, you know, something that, that's going to be, you know, in everybody's pocket. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is a Balasong from Dagger Knives. Now, people are probably screaming, uh, Balasongs are, you know, they're, they're, they're very popular. You know, kids are carrying them all across the country. Yeah, kind of. I guess so. But this is Dagger Knives' first one. And, you know, unlike a lot of Bally companies, you know, I think, I believe this is their first Bally. They might have one other one, but I'm pretty sure this is their first Bally. This offers you a premium Bally for a reasonably decent price. You have titanium scales. It does come in different colors. Titanium milled pocket clip. A lot of Bally's don't come with pocket clips. And it has a VG10, I think it's VG10, yeah, VG10 blade with this dagger style, uh, single edged, single edged um, blade. And it does have a spring lock which is really nice. So it is on a spring. And, you know, it's pretty cool. It's compact. It's not going to be as big as most Bally's are, but it's big enough for you to twirl and flip, but not like super big to where it's obnoxious when you pull it out as an EDC knife. And, you know, I know a lot of guys with folders don't really carry Bally's. Guys, are, guys that are Bally guys, they, they usually don't carry the regular folders. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with mixing and matching and, you know, doing something different every once in a while. And this, you know, having a bell song definitely makes you different you rarely ever see somebody pull out a bow song in public and you also want to be careful because you know your local laws definitely be careful with that and then last well actually we have one more but and the reason why is because this is a titanium frame lock you guys already seen a titanium frame lock so i don't want to insult you by putting another titanium frame lock so we will do one more but this is a unique titanium frame lock. This has somewhat of a cleaver slash sheep's foot blade that's obnoxiously big, extremely ergonomic, and it just looks different. This thing is fat, it's wide, it's big, it's super fidgety. I mean, very, very fidgety. But all, both deployments work extremely, extremely well. You can thumb flick it. You can reverse flick it off of any finger. You can choke up to the edge. It is S35 VN blade seal. I believe it's S35. Yeah, S35 titanium frame lock. Fantastic action. Titanium mill pocket clip that works great, by the way. And a mil, mil titanium backspacer. So it's just a knife that... You know, this is the concept goblin, by the way. I don't know if I said that or not. Um, but the concept goblin, the, the cutoff of the lock bars on the inside, there's a lot going on here that's done extremely, extremely well. This is a knife, you know, like, it's not something you see every day, even on like Instagram, on knife people's channels. It's just not one that you see in everybody's pocket. And it's extremely, extremely well done. Now, I do know that the type of person that's gonna carry this is going to find it attractive, right? Some people might find it ugly, and in that case, it might not be for you. But if somebody's looking at this and like, man, that thing just looks really cool, it actually is. It's very, very cool. And it's definitely different. And if you're carrying this, you're definitely the, the one that's carrying the most, the probably the most unique knife. 
But last, we have the Winter Blades Mirage. Now, any Winter Blades is going to be different. Any one of them. Now, this one, I know you can't get it. I don't think you can get any of them right now at this moment. Uh, but he always has new stuff coming out. Um, but, you know, just in the future, you know, when you do see anything from Winter Blades drop, it's a good idea to pick it up because it will make you the most unique knife carrier because he always does fascinating, unique stuff with his knives. So this is a magnetic lock. So it's literally a magnet that pulls itself up in between here. Then it uses magnets as a detent and in this case also as an assist. So it has a, a one magnet like pushing it out. That's why when I pull down on this, it springs out. Now that's very, very light. So when you flick it, you don't even really feel it. And then when you close it, you can just close it like a regular knife. You don't even have to really even try. So the resistance of that magnet is very, very light, but you know, it does offer you just enough that if you wanted to, you could use it as an automatic. So it's an automatic, an assisted knife and a manual knife all in one. Something that we've been, at least, you know, when I first started the community, people were raving about getting something like that. You know, getting an assisted knife that, that is manual when closing. And that's kind of what this is. Uh, M390 steel, titanium scales with carbon fiber on the inside. And it is pretty, pretty awesome. I, um, like I said, I'm always excited to see what comes out of Winter Blades. But I love that everything from Brian Winters is so unique. It definitely makes you different and stand out from the crowd when you carry one of his knives. So work hard, stay tough. You know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.